The engagement started informally um, probably about three or four years ago and um, it, it carried on from some previous work we'd, we'd done with um, talking to the public around issues within that particular patch. So we in, put an invite out to all of the sort of relevant communities and stakeholders and we asked them to nominate representatives and we brought them together as a development group. Uh, we, we had an honest discussion around um, the state of repair of the current buildings, the opportunities potentially to look at new services in that particular patch and really encourage people to think uh, openly about what the future might hold. So through the development group we had many workshops such as we worked through a process and that was around us really first of all understanding what the problems were in the case for change and then starting to explore some of the options through a formal options appraisal process. Well, a number of us attended um, lots of uh, community council meetings. We attended uh, the Sunshine Group. Uh, we attended uh, lunch groups and made ourselves available to attend wherever. And that included people on a one-to-one -one basis who asked for more information and we would go and see them. So it was fairly personal in the sense that anybody who wanted any information was able to get it face-to-face. -face. They could do it by telephone and lots of people took up those options. I think we had a small and team who were very, made themselves very available and accessible and drawing on the feedback from the development group we then explored different ways of doing it. Sometimes that was just walking down the streets and asking people, it was going to people's homes and it was going to where people already were meeting and attending things. I think what worked well was um, a good honest open approach excellent clinical leadership next on senior management and just an open and honest dialogue. I think we did make ourselves very available and accessible. I don't think anyone would say they didn't know who was involved and how they could contact us. Um, the bits that worked well for me were around um, the, the fact that the members of the development group kept involved all the way through. They stuck with it, they were very committed to it and uh, I think represented their communities very, very well. They were challenging, it wasn't easy, and that was that was good because it meant they were asking all the right and difficult questions around what the future might hold, what the, the buildings might look like, what the community services might look like, and really pushed the, the, ourselves as members of the health board into, um, into a position where we had to really think carefully about what, what um, the consultation exercise would look like and what the plans might look like. There's not a lot I would do differently. I think that we, we the process that we followed, I think has been shown to be a good process. Yes. There was elements of it in terms of some of the drop-in sessions didn't really attract a lot of people and we maybe had too many of those. We were absolutely honest and open to the point that even if it was news that people didn't want, we would, we would tell them that. We, we didn't try and cover anything up. We talked to people very genuinely and I think we engaged in a, in a conversation throughout the, the period rather than a, um, a question and answer session and that felt like the right thing to do because people were able to to have a dialogue and just ask questions and i think the fact that they were consistent we were consistent made meant that there was an element of trust on both sides people told us that they understood the reasons for change and we think that was based on nhs highlands having early meetings at the beginning of the process which really did explain why the change needed to happen being open and honest about the state of the buildings we actually think one of the original suggestions to look at the number of hospital sites in the future came from that first public meeting. We thought NHS Highland were really responsive to people's suggestions, but they also held a walkabout. We were part of the engagement team, went out and looked at how available information was in communities and if people had heard about it, speaking to people in supermarkets and shops. They then take that information back to the steering group and had a midway review, also got feedback from them and for ourselves, and that way they could change their approach to consultation during the process. The steering group members were able to comment how the board were going to carry out the consultation, in particular what we felt was really good, especially during developing the options for the future, where the, the members of the groups could go back and speak to their communities and take back their thoughts. So it was a transparent process, but also they had a chance to give their comments on how they thought they could engage with their local community.